run Disney weekend. Come on guys, let's have some fun. We got the food and wine 5K today. It's 2.53 in the morning, walking up to go through security. And I'm hoping to find some run Disney friends, you know? My friends are at home still resting and sleeping. They're gonna come with me on Sunday. Today and tomorrow though, 5K, 5K, 10K. I'll hold on the fort for all the book cards, but. It's the beginning of the run Disney season. Oh, I'm excited. There's the first finish line. And look who's already at the finish line. Oh. It's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Um, we're gonna see what characters there are today. My first run Disney friends, and I'm confused. I'll talk later about why I'm confused about this finish line lineup, but it's a little confusing. Run Disney. Is Figment today? Let's go! We gotta see Figment! Figment's here! We got Figment, Lumiere, and Bell. We got Mad Hatter. Oh, it's just a statue. <laughs> what? We want the real Figment. We got Figment, Bell, Lumiere. Matt Hatter and Bruno and Maribel. Look at all the runners. Look at all the, the happy, happy runners this morning. It's like 4.30. I'm in A Corral for 5K. Gonna maneuver my way towards the front. This is the holding zone, the corral. We'll move our corral soon, probably in like 15 minutes over there. So I'm gonna try to get kind of close here and then I'll try to wiggle my way as we're moving closer to the front. Can't wait to be in World Showcase. We've got 10 minutes till showtime. Oh yeah, we're very, very late for an important date. Mile one. Best part's about to happen. Getting in the world showcase. Woo! All right. Best place to run in the whole world. All right, first character of the showcase, Duffy Bear. Don't really see him. Who else is out today? Not a lot of characters so far, but still, very gorgeous place to be running at five in the morning. Gotta appreciate this view. And you can see the smoke from the start line. Booyah, baby. Okay, okay. Okay, I see you. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Why not, right before the two mile mark, take a little break and meet Lilo and Stitch. What a view. Hopefully this time next year, this this will all be open. And it'll be just gorgeous. Bye, oh. Make sure those good numbers are showing. All right, we're doing something different that I didn't realize until this morning for the finish. Usually you hit the last mile marker around this corner. So like this would be right where we hit three, but we don't. Everyone's taking that right. And we have a pretty long, like almost a third of a mile straight shot to the finish corral. It's a bit different. And it's shifted further to the right or further, I don't know, south or north than my near half decade of running around Disney, the finish line has always been the one way, but it's slightly shifted. So let's go see how this goes, this long finish corral. So usually you go that way, but today we're going straight. You see here, here's mile three. And we continue straight to the finish, kind of different. Here we go, love it. 
love it, love it, love it. This is what I think is the crazy thing about the 5K, is there's so many runners and the way they stagger it, I'm a modest runner, I would say. And like, there's still a decent, there's probably at least three or four waves. You know, no, I'd say even five or six, looking at that, of waves of runners to still start. Whew. They make us walk so far. I think I'm just gonna go back to the finish to try to go see some of my friends finish. 2,000 years later. <laughs> We're at the Polynesian. Going to meet up with the Earhards. To go see Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas gingerbread house. One. One big one. Sometimes it's nice just to hang out on the couch and watch some Disney Junior in the lobby of the Polynesian. The lack of sleep is catching up with me, guys. <laughs> Come on, you little spider monkey. Look at that. What a welcoming. Wes playing beautiful piano with a gingerbread house. It's not open, is it? I think they just, I think they just constructed it. There's just something right about the world. This reminds, like, this gives me the same vibe of, of like, State Street in Chicago at the holidays. Like, this gives me a similar warm and fuzzy feeling. Are you feeling warm and fuzzy? I'm yeah, sorry. and tired. <laughs> you can feel all those things at once. True. I am a complex human. We're very into Cinderella these days. Obviously, this is what we're here for. That little chocolate bit is here all the time. But they're not quite open yet to buy shingles and things, but still smell it and still look at it. I see that bird up there? Wow. Whoa, this bird's fighting the wind. So is Jamesy. Now this is a beautiful evening. It's just like gorgeous out, beautiful temperatures. So the walkway between Grand Flirty and Polynesian is down. So the options are with our big stroller to take the monorail all the way around. Or, I don't know if it's because of the wind or not, but they've got some of the big boats out to go between. I'm not mad at the 10k course. I know it's not as good as yeah. last year. We're living off one hour of sleep, <laughs> caffeine, and a dream. Do you hear Teddy? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, PSA. This is, we, we've normally, we probably have said this before. If you ever get water at the fountain drinks at the Polynesian, it's guaranteed to be fire water. We have a whole big cup of it. Even their ice. Ooh. Are you ready to run again tomorrow? Did you show your medal? Yeah, okay. I just hope to get more sleep. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>